In today's Black Hat edition of Cyberbytes, the podcast, I'm excited to welcome Yoav Regev, CEO and co-founder of Series A data security firm, Centra. Yoav and I talk about his long and successful military career and how the Israeli cybersecurity ecosystem is set up for success. I'm Oliver Legg, co-founder of Aspiron Search. Enjoy the show. Absolute pleasure to have Yoav Regev, a uh, CEO and co-founder of Centra. Um, pleasure to have you on board. How's, uh, how's things? Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks a lot for having me. Great to be here today. And everything great. We just, uh, I just came from New York City today, uh, yesterday uh, to here to Vegas to, be, to, to, to take part of the Black Hat. You know, it's great. Yeah, awesome. How's the, uh, how's the move to the States been? You know, it's, uh, it's a big move. By the way, this is my second time. I lived in the States about, uh, about 15 years ago. And now the second time. And now I have a bigger family. So it's a big move. But this is the right place to be. This is, all, uh, this is the right place. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, well, really interesting to, uh, to talk a bit about your background, first of all. Because um, uh, it's no, no, uh, no secret that most Israeli startups in the security space come out of uh, the early 200 unit. Um, but your, your background's a bit, uh, a bit different to, to most. So really keen to, to just hear the story of how you got into, into cyber. Yeah, sure. So uh, before Centra, I spent about uh, 25 years in the 8200 unit. Started as a developer in 97. And uh, since then, did all the way till the head of the cyber department. About 1,000 people. You know, like 8200, uh, this is the, uh, one of the best best school for cyber, of course, uh, but also for people and management. And the, the journey that uh, you, you have there, it's amazing. And it was a great time. By the way, we, talk, we can talk hours about that time, but that's uh, the history. I met so many people. I, was, uh, I, was, I took part about many, many operations. Uh, great technology. It's, it's amazing, you know, to have the opportunity to work with the best people from all around the country, and uh, amazing place to be. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, I mean, having had my first trip to Tel Aviv for Cyber Week uh, a couple of months ago, and working more and more with, with Israeli security firms, it's just uh, such a unique culture um, and such a unique community that other, other countries just don't have, even in the, in the security space. Exactly. You touched, uh, I think, the two most important uh, points. It's community and it's culture. Because uh, uh, the community is one of the, uh, the biggest opportunity. At the end, uh, specific in Israel, but also, you know, when you talk about the security world and about many other types of uh, uh, such kind of community, this is something it's so, so amazing to call someone, just to call him and from asking an advice and, of course, uh, to get some opportunity. And the, the second thing about com, um, culture and the Israeli culture, I like it a lot because it's very straight, uh, very direct, mm -hmm. and you can run fast. By the way, I think the best, and that's what I try to do these days, is to combine the Israeli culture with the, the U.S. culture, the European culture, because when you combine together, you get the best. Yeah, I like the... Uh the lack of bullshit <laughs> in, <laughs> exactly. in, in the Israeli culture and uh, straight talking. Um, so talk to us about Centro. So Series A uh, was, uh, was, was this year in January. Um, really, really strong raise of 30 mil. Um, talk, talk to us how the idea came and, and, and kind of what you've done so far as a, as a vendor. Of course. So Centro is a data security platform. And our mission is to uh, enable organization to move faster. Uh, data is the most uh, valuable asset. Everything is about mm -hmm. data. And a uh, very successful organization based on the data and how they can leverage it. And uh, about uh, two years ago, uh, before we started Sender, we thought, what is the, one of the biggest problems? And we understood that when you take cloud, security, and data together, something is broken. Uh, before we started Sender, we talked with many people, most of them in the US, and we asked them a few questions. Like, do you know where is your data? Uh, do you know where is your sensitive and critical data? Do you know how to protect it? And most of the answer was no, no, and no. And we understood that this is something we need uh, to tackle and to solve because everything is about data. We live in a data-centric world. Like, 
we all know about where is our uh, dog. We have a kind of a GPS for our dogs. We have uh, air tags for our luggage. But it's amazing that the, 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 bigger en- the, the biggest enterprises, they're not familiar with the data. They have data they're not familiar with, a lot of shadow data. And we understood this is something we need to change the paradigm about how organizations deal with the data and to help them to uh, uh, move faster, uh, uh, to run the dig- digital transformation, and so on. And by the way, uh, uh, my colleague, my co-founder, Yair, he came with the idea to talk about DSPM, Data Security Posture Management. And uh, uh, when he, he, he came with that idea, we just ran and Google it. And about two years ago, nothing came up, nothing. And now it's a new category, a new category, emerging category uh, uh, that almost any organization in the world will have in the next few years. Yeah, awesome. And how, how did you go about actually marketing and getting people to listen and talk about a, a, a brand new security category? So uh, there's a few aspects of that. First of all, I think that most of organizations really understand the problem. Mm. They know that the most uh, important thing is about the data. Many people talk about reduce the attack vector uh, to prevent the breach. But these days, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when your organization will, br- will be breached. It's way of life. And we like to talk about the impact. It's not about the breach, it's about the impact of the breach. And most of the security people, they know about it, they understand that. And now they need to find a solution. And uh, you, you can see that people talk about preposition, about proactive uh, ways to do it. And this is exactly what Centra is all about, to help you to preposition yourself, to be a proactive, to make sure you prioritize based on your most valuable asset. You cannot, not all of the data uh, was, it's not the same. Like it's, it's very different priorities. Uh, and this is what uh, aware Centra help organization uh, to solve. Yeah, awesome. And I mean, coming back to, to, to kind of your journey uh, again, what what was the challenge kind of coming from eighty two hundred and what twenty twenty five years in in, uh, exactly. in in the military to then being CEO of a commercial security vendor? What how did you find that transition? What what were the what were the challenges of being thrown into a, a very different role? Yeah, so you know when you think about it, it it's, looks like it's very different. But you talked before about community and culture, and uh, 8200 is uh, it, it, it's, it's like uh, many many startups that work together. Again, you work with the best people. You have the most challenging problems, state of the art technology, uh, and even a little bit of competition. So at the end, there's a lot to learn and a lot. Uh, uh, um, to take from that uh, timing. However, if I need to, you know, to choose one thing is about resilience. Like mm. to be 25 years in that area and in, in, in that challenging and very, very important uh, um, moments. So the resilience is something that you learn. And I think any, anyone knows that, uh, everyone knows that uh, to be in a startup, resilience is maybe number one priority. It's a day-to-day, a lot of highs and lows and how to tackle all the problems and understand and and adjust. So from one hand, very different, you know, uh, uh, to be in the army and the uh, high tech. However, a lot, a lot of comments between 80 to 100 and the high tech ecosystem. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Um, well, sounds like more people should come out of the military then, <laughs> and uh, in in other other countries as well before uh, before before doing it. Um, and so, what what's next then? What what uh, what's next for for Centra that people should be keeping an eye on you for and, and excited about? So, in the next uh, few months or few years, we want to be the market leader to lead the new standard of data security. As I said before, we want to change the paradigm to start with the data. These days, data is everything. There is no perimeter. And we want uh, that all of the organization understand that they need to start with the data. And what we do these days is to accelerate, accelerate the goal to market, uh, to be part of more enterprise organization. This is the focus. 
And uh, that's what you're going to see in the next few months and years. More and more uh, solutions, uh, uh, deplo deployments, and enterprises uses Centra as the main security part for the data. Yeah, awesome. And I'm assuming a big focus on growing the Northern American team, given that you're you're now out here leading the leading the charge from from the states. Absolutely, absolutely. We are here, first of all, to serve our current customers and to bring more and more customers. This is our focus. Uh, we want to be in every organization and to make sure that they get great, great value from Centra. So absolutely, we are very focused to uh, uh, to grow here in the U.S. That's us. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Thanks a lot. Yeah, it was pleasure, great. Mood. Thanks, Thanks for having on. We hope you've enjoyed this latest episode of Cyberbytes, the podcast. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and tell your friends. If you want to explore being a guest or how Aspiron Search can help you build high-performing security and go-to-market teams, then get in touch on LinkedIn or info at aspironsearch.com.